Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Hannah. I post weekly videos of all things fashion and beauty related that are also vegan and cruelty free. So if you like what you see, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. It helps me out a lot and I would love to have you be a part of my family. Okay, so today we're gonna be doing a favorites video. I'm gonna be sharing all of my favorites from the month of February. I know we just did a year long favorites video. So definitely go check that out. That's all of my favorites from the year 2018. And now I'm gonna be talking about some newer-ish favorites or just things that I couldn't stop using in the month of February. And hopefully you discover some new products that you like. I have my basket of goodies, so nothing's really organized. I'm gonna to try to keep it categorized to make things easier. So first up, I'm gonna talk about some hair products that I have been loving. And the first product is this by Evolve. They are 100% vegan, 100% cruelty-free hairline. And this is the Smart Volume Leave-In Conditioner Spray. And I've been using this a lot because my hair is very fine and it gets tangled very easily. But I also am really careful with leave-in conditioners because a lot of times they're really heavy. They'll leave my hair being greasy. My curl won't hold as well. So this one, because it's in a liquid form, it doesn't do that, but it conditions the hair just enough so that I can get my brush through. And I also use it as a heat protectant. So it's kind of like an all-in-one product. I really, really love this. And I highly recommend it if you're looking for something that detangles, can be a heat protectant, all of the above. It is amazing. And all of their products smell really, really good too. Yeah, delish. Next hair product I have been using is this by IGK. It is the Crybaby Anti-Frizz Smoothing Serum. IGK, yet another cruelty-free vegan hair company that you can get at Sephora, so I'm a big fan of theirs. Their packaging is also so cute. So I have been using this, and I have really been liking it for the winter months because my hair has been really dry. So I can go a few days without washing it, but I tend to start getting some tangles underneath. So I really like this product to kind of emulsify and just run through the underneath parts of my hair to keep them from getting tangled up. And I also find that this doesn't weigh my hair down because I know there are a lot of serums and oils out there that will. This one does not. And this one also smells really, really good. So two hair products that I absolutely love, highly recommend. And let's move on to skin. Okay, the bulk of my favorites are actually skincare products this month because I've been focusing a lot, a lot, a lot on skin. You guys know that I have struggled with my skin for the past few years. You guys have been along for the journey and I have finally got my skin in a really good place. And I've kind of switched gears, whereas before I would focus on all the makeup to cover the skin and now I'm focusing more on just making sure that the skin is in a good place so the makeup looks good on top of it. So. Skincare has been a huge priority of mine and I'm excited to share some of my favorites with you guys in the future, but some favorites for February, and this is not all of the skincare that I use, but these are just some that were newer or I noticed I was using more. And the first one is the Derma E Hydrating Eye Cream. I know I've talked about this product before, but I get a lot of you guys asking me about eye creams and I really, really love this one. I've used a lot of eye creams that I feel like don't really make a difference. This is not one of them. This is definitely hydrating. And I would know because I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which is super, super drying under the eyes. And this seems to be like the number one thing to combat it. I don't use an eye cream every single night. Um, I did a skincare routine on my IGTV a while back. And I know one of you guys asked about eye cream. If I'm gonna be doing a super heavy balm or a super heavy moisturizer all over the face, I won't always use an eye cream just because the balm and the moisturizer can kind of like cover that area. But if I'm not going to do such a heavy moisturizer all over the face, I definitely will do an eye cream or if I've just put on the Tarte Shape Tape and I need to kind of rehab the under eye area, this is the product that I use. Next product from Pixie is the Glow Tonic and they were kind enough to send me this with my name on it, which is just so special. But this is a product that I was sleeping on for a while. I know that Rianne from Wife Life and Tashina from Logical Harmony both love, love, love this product. But I never really gave it a solid chance, I don't think. And once I started using it on a regular basis, I feel like my skin has noticed a huge difference. So it has glycolic acid in it, so it makes it an exfoliating product, but it's not gonna be super harsh on the skin. Someone like me with sensitive skin, using some harsh, abrasive, exfoliating products can sometimes make things worse. So I love that this is good for sensitive skin. It exfoliates, 
and gets the dead skin off without being super harsh on the skin. So if you're like me and you have sensitive skin, but you're looking for something to exfoliate, which trust me is such an important part of your skincare routine, definitely try this out. Um, your makeup will lay better, your skin will look smoother, and I've gotten so many compliments on how even my skin tone is since I started using this product. And I feel like I have to attribute a lot of it to this because that's basically what it's supposed to do. I definitely think it's this baby and I love it. And another skincare product from Pixi, I used the entire thing, so this should technically be in an empties video, but I went ham on this in February, so I had to share it. It is the Rose Caviar Essence, and it's all rubbed off because that's how much I love this. And it's funny because this is another one where I was like, didn't think I would be blown away by it, but I do love the smell of rose, so I think that helped me use it more. So I use it as a serum and it provides such a nice hydration to your skin. It is a little bit more on the pricier side for Pixie. Um, I think it's $24 or something like that, but I'm really gonna miss this product and I will definitely probably buy some more in the future. If you're looking for a good serum, I think that this is amazing. If you're looking for something that's not going to like, you know when you put a serum on and it just kind of sits on top of your skin and doesn't really soak in, and then you go to put your makeup on and it's like peeling off. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry about these hands. Literally have a mind of their own. You know when you put on a serum and it's like starts to peel off? This does not do that. It really does sink into your skin. So I feel like this is one serum that I really stand by and feel like works really well. Okay, next skincare product. This is by a brand that is new to me. They're 100% vegan, 100% cruelty free and it is LXMI Creme du Nil. Creme du Nil. That sounds better. Sounds better when you try to say it with an accent. Creme du Nil. So this is a moisturizing product. It is a pore refining moisture veil. It is meant to be the last step of your skincare routine, whether in the morning or at night. And I understand why they say that because it is a heavy product. It's a lot heavier than some moisturizers that are out there. So I definitely think that if you're a dry skin person, this is gonna be a great product for you. I used it a lot in February, but I'm actually gonna hold off using it for a while because my skin ended up getting very oily the last week or so. And I'm not sure if it's because of a new product I tried or if it's because of stress or what, but I am just going to stop using this and then slowly reintroduce it to see if this is what was making me oily or if it was a foundation I tried or if it was just stress. Nonetheless, if you are a dry skin person, this product is amazing. It's so hydrating. It's definitely pore refining. A lot of times I would use it as a primer and I feel like it offers a very smooth finish, a lot like a primer would. And I am also gonna keep using this on my neck and chest area because it is so moisturizing and so heavy. I feel like it's a great product for those areas. I never break out there, I never get oily there, so that's not an area I have to worry about and I'll kind of use whatever products there, but I definitely always make sure to bring my skincare down there, which if you're not, do it because you don't wanna wait until it's too late. That is something I wish I would've known earlier in life. Next product, it's also from LXMI. This is their Nilotica Body Velvet and it is a moisture balm. So it is a lot like a body butter, but it's more of a balm as it says. And when you emulsify it, it turns into an oil. So it is very, very nice for the body, especially in the winter months. And even in the summer months, I'm excited to try this out because I think with a tan, with short shorts, it just offers a really hydrating finish to your legs and your skin and it's just very luxurious and I love how much product you get with this. I have had body balms in the past that come in little tiny packages and that is not the business, okay? And then also from Derma E, we have this Rose Hip and Almond Protecting Shea Hand and Cuticle Cream. I can't remember, Hand and Cuticle Cream. I can't remember if I've talked about this before in a video. I feel like I might have, but um, I'm gonna talk about it again because I like it, okay? This has been like, I always have this in my purse because it has been dry and my hands need it. And it's very moisturizing, it smells really good. It's got a light rose scent to it, so if you don't like rose, you might not like it. I don't really smell much almond, but it's in there according to the packaging. So yeah, this has been 
a go-to for me. And let's move on to some makeup. So first I have this bronzer blush highlight palette from Pacifica. This is their Radiance Powers in a Lighten. And you get two highlights. One is rose gold, one is more gold, a bronzer and a blush shade. I really, really like this and I've been using it a lot. The highlighters are very, very natural. If you really like just a very natural highlight that's glow from within, these are gonna be your go-to. And I like how both of them are very wearable. A lot of times when you get two highlighters in a palette, it'll be like the pink is too dark and the gold will work. So then I end up only using the gold and not the pink. Both of these are good for my skin tone. So I don't feel like it's a total waste of product if I don't use one. I can definitely get use of both of them. And what I like to do is use the gold one for the tops of my cheeks and then I'll bring it down with the pink on the apples of my cheeks for a little bit of a glow on the on top of the blush. And then the blush shade and the bronzer shade are both matte shades, which I really like. I prefer matte shades because I use mostly matte shades for blush and bronzer most of the time. So this is just a really great all-in-one palette, great for travel, really like it. Very compact, easy to use, great colors. All right, next from Aether Beauty, this is the Rose Quartz Crystal Gemstone Palette. I am so glad I finally got my hands on this palette because I've been eyeing their palettes for forever and this is so loved. I've been using it pretty much every day this month. And what I love about it is how natural it is. It's not, you're not gonna get like a super bold eye look from this palette, but you're gonna get a very natural, pretty eye look. And the shades in the middle here, they're more of like a foil, kind of holographic looking shimmer shade, but I feel like they're very wearable for the daytime. A lot of my more foiled eyeshadows, I don't wear during the day because I feel like it's a little bit too much, but these are very daytime wearable and I think it's so pretty and I've been loving the way that a little sparkle on the eye looks during the daytime. So pretty much been wearing this palette every single day. I think that the shades are super wearable. So if you like more of a cool tone, it's mostly cool toned, but you do have the gold, and I love this copper shade right here. I love it, I love it, I love it so much. Aether Beauty is actually sold at Sephora now, which is amazing. So definitely go support them. 100% vegan, 100% cruelty-free, female-owned company in Sephora. Go vote with your dollar. I am so happy to support them, and yeah. Put, put your dollar where it counts. And another eyeshadow palette, this is from Pixie. This is their Reflex Light Eyeshadow Palette. And I also really, really love this palette. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. And if you love a coppery gold eye look, then you're gonna love this palette because that's what it is, pretty much. The only downside I would say to this palette is there are no matte shades. I like a matte shade for a transition or to deepen my outer corner. There is not that in this, but I still will use other products and then just always go in for this on the lid because it is so pigmented, so pretty, offers a really nice shine. I've had pixie eyeshadows in the past that I just felt kind of meh about, but this is the first palette from them that I'm like, whoa. This is great. Next up, some lifestyle products. So <laughs> this is a wire headband and I actually saw this lady at a coffee shop in Palm Springs wearing it. And I was like, where did you get that? That's so cute. And she was like, Amazon, just search wire headband and you'll find it. So I literally ordered it right there on the spot. They come in a pack of four, very cheap, very cute. And I really like them for days where I'm having a bad hair day. Like for example, today, I really need to get my bangs cut. So, headband. I like these because you can wear them a bunch of different ways. They stay on the head, they don't hurt your head, and yeah, they're just really fun. Next product, another Amazon tool, and this is, I'm not even sure what you would call this, Conair, it's by Conair. It's a sweater trimmer, and I, don't know what I did in my life before I had this because those of you who love sweaters, you will know that after wearing them a couple times, they start to look old. They start to get a little like 
I don't know what the word is, but you know what I mean, where they, they get pilling. Anyways, you just turn this on and circle it over the sweater and it trims off any of the excess fuzzies that make the sweater look old and it makes your sweaters look good as new. So truly, if you have been thinking about throwing away some sweaters in your closet, go ahead and get one of these and you will be surprised at how good as new they will look after this product. It's actually really fun to go through your closet and I wish I had more things to use this on. This is my new baby. This is the Angela Roy Cher Tote, not the mini, the regular tote, and this is in the color ash brown. And I kind of was going back and forth between getting the ash brown and the cream because the cream is so gorgeous. But I didn't trust myself with it because I'm pretty rough with my bags. So I went with the ash brown and I know that it will be really hard to stain this one. So it was a safe decision and I just love the color. It looks it's ash brown, but it looks almost like a little olive to me, and the inside has olive. So, yeah, it's a really pretty color. Goes with everything. If you're not familiar with Angela Roy, I talk about them a lot on this channel because they make some of my favorite, favorite vegan handbags, and it's something I'm really passionate about because I've been a fashion blogger long before I was vegan when I was still wearing animal products, and so for me to find a handbag company that produces handbags that are not only stylish but look luxe and expensive and are high quality as well it's just such a win for me and you know I'm very rough with my bags so I can assure you that these will stand the test of time I throw them around I sit on them accidentally and they still look good as new. If you haven't gotten an Angela Roy bag yet, I think it's so, so worth the investment, especially because you know you can buy a faux leather bag from a fast fashion store. It's gonna be cheaper, but there's no way it's gonna last you, you know, longer than a season or two seasons worth. Whereas these bags, I know are gonna last for years and years to come. So for me, it's worth the extra money. It's worth it to support a vegan handbag company and get a really good, nice quality handbag out of it. So that is gonna be it for my February favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe found some new products that are interesting to you. Let me know if you have tried anything that I mentioned down below in the comments. And I will see you guys next time in another video. Bye.